this video, we're going to create a query in Google Sheets that allows us to join data set from three different tables into one single query output that reflects data from all three of those sources. So you can see here on the tab we're on now called orders, I have orders for a furniture wholesale company and the columns are client ID number, order date, product ID, quantity, and order amount. On the second tab, I have a listing of our clients, which also has the field client ID and then a description for the client name that relates to that ID number. On the last tab, we have product ID numbers and then a product description that relates to that product ID number. And what we want to do is build a query that joins all three of these data sets together and pulls in the client name based on the client ID and the product description based on the product ID. So on a new tab, I'm just going to rename this query and we'll begin with the query function. Now, obviously we want to join all the data from all three of those tabs. So in our first argument where we select the data set we want to query off of, we want to begin with an opening curly bracket because what a curly bracket does is it allows you to join different arrays together that may not be physically next to each other in your workbook. So our first array needs to be our raw data. Now our raw data is the orders tab. The other two tabs are our lookup tables. So you need to begin with the raw data that you're going to query off of, which is orders. So I'm going to go to orders. I'm going to select columns A through E. But an important thing here, we want to begin on row two if you have headers. We don't want to include the headers because in the additional two data sets we're going to add after this, we're going to do a VLOOKUP based on the client ID and the product ID. And the headers will not pull back a match in that VLOOKUP. So it is very important that you begin at row two. So now Within our curly brackets, we want to separate our different data sets by a comma because the comma tells Google Sheets display these different arrays side by side in the output. So that's what that will do. So we're going to use the VLOOKUP to first look up the client ID number in column A and pull it in. Pull in the client name, should I say. The problem with the VLOOKUP function is it produces a single cell output. We have a whole column of lookup values and outputs that we want to produce. So we need to nest the VLOOKUP function in something that can handle or convert it to multiple outputs. That's going to be the array formula. So we also want to nest the VLOOKUP function within the if error function because we'll have blank rows at the bottom that will pull in NA values and we don't want to reflect those NAs for the blank rows we just want to reflect nothing so anytime we get an error we just want to tell Google Sheets hey change NA to just a blank so now we have our VLOOKUP and the first argument is our search key. Well, that's going to be everything in column A, but again, we want to begin at row two. So we're first going to look up our lookup range, which is going to be the clients tab. And we want to select columns A through B and hit F4 to lock that down. We want to pull back the client name, so we want column two to be pulled back, and we want an exact match, so we want a value of zero there. So we are done with our VLOOKUP function. Now what we want to do is pull, you know, tell Google Sheets to pull nothing if there's an NA on blank rows. So that would just be double quotes. So 
we need to add a final closing parentheses because we have one, two, three opening parentheses. So we have one, two, three on the end there. So in a similar fashion, we want to do the same thing um, as we did here, but we just want to pull in the product description based on column C of our orders tab. So what I'm going to do here is copy this and just change it. So we wanted to pull from column C this time because that's where the product ID number was on the orders tab. Now we want to point to the products tab and we just want to pull the second column, the product description. So I'm just going to select the range A through B, hit F4 to lock that down. And we want to pull back the second column and an exact match again. And again, we just want to pull back nothing if there's NA on blank rows just end it with the correct number of closing parentheses. So we are done with our first argument, so we're going to close that out with an ending curly bracket. And now we come into the second argument of our query statement, which is just our select statement. So for now, I just want to say select star to pull back everything. And the final argument is the number of row headers we have. Well, currently we don't have any because we haven't added them yet. We began our data set on row two. So for now, I'm just going to add a zero there and hit enter. And you can see this pulls back everything, including the client name and the product description. So now what we want to do is add headers to this. So in front of our first data set here, back in the curly brackets, what we're going to do is reference our orders tab again. And this time, we want to pull in that first row of data. So it's going to be the range A1 through E1. After that, we need to provide headers for these other two columns that we pulled in in our VLOOKUP functions. So I'm just going to manually list those. The first one is client name. And then each of these are separated by a comma because we want to display these headers side by side. And then we have product description. So after this argument, we need to, rather than add a comma here, we want to add a semicolon because the semicolon says, okay, separate this as a row below it. So all of this data, the output here is going to be below this first section of headers. Now, don't forget that in our last argument of the query statement, we said we had zero headers because at the time we did, but now we just added headers. So we have one row of headers. So I'm going to change that to a one and hit enter. <clears throat> and you can see this pulls in headers that are specific to our data and our query output. So now if we want to actually filter this down some and put some criteria in here, we can. So after select star, I'm going to say where maybe column F, but you can't refer to the letter. We, we created our own sort of custom array in this first argument, so we have to refer to the column number. So that should be column 6. So where column 6 equals, and maybe we just want to see the client name furniture plus And you can see this filters our query based on that criteria. So that is how you can build a query in Google Sheets that allows you to join multiple tables into one single output. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.